35 miles west of Spokane, an 8,000 acre wheat field would normally be flourishing. So when we get too much heat like this and not, not, not hardly any rain uh, throughout the year, the kernels are pinched and shriveled. This harvest will be like no other. Brothers Mike and Pat Abbott are wheat farmers in the tiny town of Davenport. The Pacific Northwest heat wave has caused a drought across the region, decimating their crops. It's at least half the crop is gone. They say the combination of high heat, lack of rain, and late frost has caused much of their field to die. With the wheat grains that are still alive, they are completely stunted. When wheat is ready for harvest, it's supposed to go up to my waist. This wheat is already done growing three weeks early, and it barely passes my knees. So it needs to rain 6.7 inches between July and August to catch up. And if we'd have had that moisture, this heat wouldn't have affected the crop so much. Their spring and winter wheat are mainly used for pastas, but also for Nabisco snacks like Oreos, Ritz crackers, and Chips Ahoy. They say with such a low amount of wheat this harvest, they won't be able to provide as much product. The more money we make, we spread to the community. The less money we make, it, it actually affects everybody in the community. He says there isn't much anyone can do at this point, but he does have one idea. Pray for rain. <laughs> Reporting in Davenport, Morgan Trow. Prem 2 News.